Welcome to video two, where we'll look at the available modules for the A-Star S-Series phone system and how to install them. I'm Darzuk, Senior Trainer, and we're going to have a look at the different modules that can be installed into the A-Star S-Series phone system. Now, this is one of my favorite parts of the A-Star phone system because they've made an incredibly broad range of phone line adapters and modules uh, to be plugged into the uh, A-Star system. So you can plug in cellular line cards. So you can use a cellular line within the A-Star uh, phone system. You can also use FXO, and that's an analog type of uh, phone line. You can use uh, T1 and E1, that's for larger companies, uh, and a digital phone line. You can use a BRI uh, connection. And of course, you can use SIP or both lines as well. Now, in terms of the modules, you can also plug in analog phones. You might want to do that if you're in a hotel or if you've got a fast machine or an analog uh, cordless phone. Now the FXS modules can also be plugged in and allow you that capability to plug uh, analog phones in. So it's a very broad range. Uh, they're extremely well priced and it, it brings down the cost overall of installation of the A-Star S-Series phone system. Because the modules are in uh, the phone system cabinet, it means there's no extra power supplies, no extra wires. Uh, it's a much cleaner installation and much more reliable. So for all these reasons, uh, Yaystar has an extremely good solution here. Let's jump in and see what it's all about. So with the S300 cabinet, there are six screws that need to be removed, and then the uh, top cover can be removed, and this is where we place the modules. Now, there's a, a range of modules that can be used with the S20 through the S300, including analog line and analog phone set modules. Those are the S2, the O2, and the SO module. In addition, these are BRI line, line module and a GSM cellular card model. Now, with the S100 and the S300, there's a daughter card, and that's the EX08 uh, that you see here. And that allows to place four of these modules on an EX08. The S20 and the S50 don't require that uh, daughter module. So there's two of these daughter cards. One is the EX08, and the other one is the EX30. The EX30 is for digital uh, uh, lines. Those are the E1 and T1. T1 is a North American standard, and E1 is... Uh, other parts of the world, primarily Europe, uh, but other parts of the world. Uh, and so uh, these modules in the S300, three of these, mod these can be plugged in. In the S100, two can be placed in to give you incredible expansion. Now, in addition to that, the S100 and the S300 also allow for a D30 module. This is a DSP module that increases the capacity of your phone system. So the S300 allows for two, the S100 uh, allows for one, and the D30 increases the capacity by 100 extensions and 30 concurrent calls. So to install these modules, we simply uh, remove the covers from the front of the cabinet, and, uh, and then the uh, EX08 and the EX30 modules can be simply uh, slid in through the front. Now, once you slide them into the front, there is a anchor screw uh, that you uh, need to secure the boards to the cabinet, and that's incredibly important as well. So let's uh, slide this last uh, EX30 module in and then uh, we'll show you how to secure it. So here's the screw that we use to secure the module to the cabinet. So the, for the FXO line module, the first thing we always want to do is inspect the pins to make sure that they are not damaged. And then we simply line up the pins and firmly press down and they will click into place. With the GSM line card module, uh, you need to get a SIM card from your cellular provider in the area. That SIM card simply slides into place in the slot provided, and then you flip it over and snap it into place. Now after that's done, we need to uh, connect the antenna. So the uh, wire uh, gets mounted on the back and then simply screw the antenna into the cabinet. 
The D30 module, as you remember, is to increase capacity. Uh, so it simply gets placed in, the, the, uh, in place and then we secure it with two screws. The T1E1 module, uh, once it's in place, we need to use a T1E1 uh, cable and we simply plug it in. Now with the S100 and the S300 phone system, you need to have an EX08 module and uh, the EX08 module has indicator lights as well as the RJ11 jacks that we see here, one through eight. Now they line up to the modules internally, so slot one is port one and two and indicator one and two and so on and so forth. So let's have a look at the FX002 module and the status light. So we've got a cable plugged in to uh, number one. When it's uh, slow blinking, it means it's unavailable, as you see in port two here. Solid is available and ready. Now, when uh, the light is blinking quickly, uh, it means that it's currently in use. Now, the colors of the lights are important as well. These are red, and red represents the FX002 module as well as the GSM uh, module, so you can tell. So here we have a flash blinking light. That means that there's a call in progress. Now, one of the things you also notice here is that one and two are both illuminated. Three and four, only three is illuminated. And that's representative of GSM module because the GSM only has one uh, line capabilities. So in this case, uh, uh, three is blinking fast, which means there's a call in progress. FXS are for analog phones, and they could be for fax machines as well. The color of the lights are green, and if it's solid, it means it's available. If it's blinking fast, it means a call is in progress. Digital BRI line modules are yellow lights, and the rule still applies. So a solid, uh, blink, a solid light means that it's available. Slow blinking means it's not available, and fast blinking means call in progress. So that was video two, the available modules uh, for your Acer S-Series phone system. In video three, we'll have a look at the, in, the initial configuration of your Yaystar S-Series phone system. Now, you can find video three by going to the yaystar.com website and looking in the training section. Alternatively, you can head over to youtube.com and search for it there. I'm Darzuk. Thanks for watching.